Hi everyone, I am Mary Nunley. I'm the co-founder of the Lavender Dragon Team. We are an e-learning agency. I co-founded the business with my son, who is also my tech wizard. And if you can look at the background behind me, you can see that we've got dragons everywhere. But we started the business because both of us were looking for something a little bit extra and a little bit more. And we both as gamers know that there is a way to bring more engagement, more energy to what's out there in the e-learning marketplace. And when you think about how we came to Genially, one of the things that we found that was really exciting is we work with a lot of individual course creators who don't necessarily have a large budget or who can't afford some of the more expensive software that large companies use for creating e-learning. And what we found was that Genially allowed us to work with them to create these great interactive, engaging lessons that their students really found helpful. And we have found that it's easy to build games. It's easy to build quizzes. We can import a PowerPoint and make it interactive. You can add custom art. You can add soundtracks. And so this was like the answer to how do we solve this problem and how do we help our clients get better quality courses that are fun, that are robust, and that both ourselves and our clients have fun creating. But I'm sure that you're just like me and you're excited about seeing what can be done. And so I'm gonna use one of our clients, the Players NIL, as an example. And if you're in the United States, NIL is something relatively new. It stands for Name, Image, and Likeness, and it applies to student athletes. And so our client, the Players NIL, created a series of courses that focus on five pillars that athletes and all human beings really need to know. And that's financing, it's marketing, it's um, philanthropy, it's how to manage your money. And so we built a series of Genialies for them. And what I'm going to do now is share my screen and show you a couple of the, the cool things that we built. So the first thing that we did is we built some courses, some, some content that was individual. So for example, one of the things that they wanted their audience to learn how to do, and they still want their audience to learn how to do, is to understand how to do an introduction email. And so rather than just do a long, boring lesson where somebody's talking to a PowerPoint or something like that, what we did is we took the elements of an introductory email and then made it interactive so that now when the learner's going through the lesson, they click each of those plus signs and it gives them some information. So do I say, hey, Joe, or dear Mr. Smith or whatever. And so that is the way that we address that. So now on one simple screen, we have all of this information and the student taking the course gets to see how this relates to the entire email itself. So that's an example of one of the simpler ones that we did. Then I'm also going to show you a quiz that we built, and this was using a Genially template that we customized for the client. And in this quiz, the learner is able to determine, is this name, image, or likeness? And there are very specific rules regarding what each of those elements are. And I'm not going to take you through the whole quiz, but I just want to show you. So when we click on this, so is this an example of a name, an image, or a likeness? Well. There's no name attached, so it's not a name. Is it likeness or is it image? So we can click on the answer. Yay, we got it correct. What we did too and what the learners, the students really like is the fact that we incorporated the ability to add animated GIFs or GIFs, depending on how you like to call them, into the feedback. So notice we've got this little positive thumbs up arrow. So that was simple to do. In this particular case, I'm going to do a wrong answer so that you can see how we do the wrong feedback. So again, incorporating the resources built into Genially, we have this Mr. Grumpy Cat going, nope, that's not the right answer. So that was another one that we created for the players NIL. Another thing that we did was we did a tip of the day. And so with this tip, they, this was, again, a way to remind the students, so it's like, okay, we've done all of this talking, all of this information about, you know, loans and credit and all of that. So let's give you a tip of the day. So we took a very simple background 
used a default font. And then we, again, incorporated the interactive drawing to say, okay, tip of the day, biggest advantage of investing is time. So just short little blurbs that our client can send out to the students to say, keep this in mind. Two more things that I want to show you that I thought turned out very, very well. We've got the uh, key terms game, which again, we use the template that is part of the Genially suite of tools. We customized it for the client's need. And then what we have is they have to choose between two items. So this is a great template to use when you're trying to help make decisions or reinforce like right or wrong, yes or no. So we're going to click the start button. You'll be presented with a series of questions and two options. And this was a vocabulary review. So when we click start, metrics, the social media analytics from a post, usage rights, the license to use the content during the agreement, so after completing a campaign for Mr. Scissors, they ask you to share the engagement, like shares, et cetera, from your post. So now the student has to decide, is this about usage rights or is this about metrics? Well, we know that it says analytics, so we're gonna click that. And again, we were consistent throughout all of our lessons using that same thumbs up graphic. So we're building that muscle memory with the learners as well. So it's like, okay, every time I get it right, I see little Mr. Happy Thumb. The last one I want to show you is a more of a custom presentation and using the, the board game templates that were available in Genially, plus working with our graphic design team to create some custom art, we built a game that's sort of the capstone that brings everything together. So it's help guide the aliens through the player's NIL journey, click on each square to answer a question. So we've got a custom board game that we created. We have our little aliens here. Each of these items represents a different aspect from the course. So we're gonna click on our little alien. We get a question, what does NIL stand for? So we're gonna say name image likeness. That's correct. All right, so we get to continue. So now we've got our little uh, creatures moving across the board. So we're gonna get this one right and we're gonna say false and see what happens. That's incorrect. And so we still got to move ahead. We wanted to make this a quick game, but the learner is still getting feedback. But again, it's very simple to build this. Once you figure out what actions do you want to happen after each question appears. And so the player can have a chance to, in a fun way, experience the board game, reinforce what they were learning, and it just kind of ties everything together. So. Those are just a few of the different ways that we've used Genially for our client. And if you're interested, you can also visit our client site at the Players NIL to check out all of the courses where Genially's are incorporated and always happy to answer questions or show how we've done things. So that's our quick Genially tour for today.